In Lost Light, you will be spending a fair amount of time in your shelter, so you want to be efficient while you're there. The tips and tricks in this video will help you make the most out of your time there. Please tell me in the comments which one ended up being the most helpful to you. I'll be doing combat and ranked tips as well in another video, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Let's get going. You're never gonna have enough inventory space in Lost Light. One thing you can do to free up some space is to load items into upgrading your stations. Even if you only have a few of the items you need, you can submit them to free up some space. I do recommend not doing this to all of your scrap, plastics, wires and electronic components as you'll need them for crafting as well. Once an item has been submitted for an upgrade, it can't be taken out. Store these in an item case and submit them when you have the rest of the items loaded in. Your main priority about your shelter should be upgrading it. These upgrades will both make your life easier and give you access to more and better gear. I tend to prioritize the storage, weapon table and workbench. This doesn't mean you should sleep on the rest, as they're all important. Another thing you can do to free up inventory space is not being afraid to sell stuff. Almost every item in Lost Light is useful in some way, so it's tempting to hoard everything. You're gonna build up a lot of frustration from having a full storage this way, so don't be afraid to sell stuff. Unless you need the item right away or very soon, just get rid of it. Sell it to Heidi or list it on the black market. This is especially true for weapons as they take up a lot of space. I sell off any weapon I won't be using in the near future and if there's a few levels until I can properly mod it. This one ties into the last one, but you should be checking the black market value of your items. A lot of items are used for crafting more valuable items or upgrading your hideout, so they might be worth tenfold to other players or what Heidi is willing to pay for them. Don't miss out on these opportunities. You can only list three items at a time, or more if you have premium, but most items tend to sell pretty fast anyways, so it's not a problem. Next up, you need to always be crafting. Finding all the items you need for your shelter upgrades in ops is near impossible. Most of the items can be crafted and crafting happens on a timer. Check what you need for your shelter upgrades and try to always have a craft going. You can easily see if an item is craftable by clicking on it in the station upgrade window and choosing the workbench option. You'll also see which resources you need to craft it so you can keep your eyes open for those when you're out in ops. If your stash is littered with backpacks, you can actually store items inside these. Most backpacks take up as many slots in the stash as they can hold, so it's a nice option if you don't want to sell your backpacks. Personally, I don't do this much as I find it makes my storage a bit messy, as I lose overview of where some items are. And yet another thing you can do to help you out with inventory space is to not claim all your mail. You get a lot of gear and items through quests in the early game, and while it might be tempting to just claim everything as you get it, you can actually use your mailbox as extra storage. Thanks to the claim some button, you can claim just what you need, while the rest can sit there for later. Be aware though, that mail is deleted after 30 days, so make sure you watch that timer. Once you're high enough level, you should spend the necessary resources and money to build your shooting range and arsenal. The shooting range lets you test weapons before heading out into the field. The arsenal acts as an extended storage for weapons and weapon parts. It's also better to use the shooting range to find out that your weapon sucks, instead of in the field where it might cost you your life. You need a lot of different items for shelter upgrades and taking notes on what you need can be of help while you're in ops. It'll help you prioritize which items you pick up and which items you leave behind. This can be a mental note, but I find it easier to make notes on paper or on a notepad that I can have on my second monitor. Lastly, I want you to start using gear templates. When you find a nice gear set and weapon you like, you can save it as a template. This helps you automatically buy and equip these items, saving you the hassle of doing everything manually. This feature doesn't dig through your mailbox though, so if you have any items from your template in there, you need to take them out first. These templates include healing items, grenade and everything you need for your kit. It even mods out your weapons. And that's it for the tips and tricks that will make your shelter life easier. I have more tips and tricks videos coming up about combat, ops and ranked, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those. Also leave a like on this video if you found it helpful. I recently unlocked ranked mod for Lost Light as well, so make sure you don't miss that video. You'll find it up here. This was Totally Free Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.